In this video, I want to show you the calculation that we would use to contribute uh, our demand factor towards the house calculation. And this is based on the CEC 2018 code and section eight, rule 8201. And specifically, this is on the electric range, so it's item four. The electric range loads are taken at 6,000 watts for the first 12,000 watts. And then the balance is taken at 40%. If you have a second range, it would fall into the catch-all rule, which is 8201A7, and be taken at 25%. So for example, I have two ranges in this home. Uh, they're both 14, thousand watt ranges. The first range would fall under 8201A4, which means for the first 12,000 watts of that 14, we would apply a demand factor of 6,000 watts. Then the remaining or the balance is 14,000 minus the 12,000 gives us 2,000 left over. We apply that at 40%. And so our total demand factor towards the service for the first range would be 6,800 watts. Our second range fits into the catch-all rule, which is 8,200-1A7. So for this second range, we would take the total 14,000 watts, multiply that by 25%, and take that demand factor of 3,500 towards our mean calculation. So both of these added up would account for the two ranges. If you only had a gas range, then the catch-all rule gets you to add up all the loads that exceed 1,500 watts and that have not yet been provided for. Then you take the first 6,000 watts at 100% and the balance at 25%. And I'll show you an example of that when we get to the catch-all rule. 